Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. In this new series, we are going to look at all of the sounds of English. We're going to do it by looking at the alphabet and we're going to go A, B, C all the way through until you have mastered every sound in English, okay? So this is the first lesson. This is the letter A. Okay, if you want to know how many ways this letter can be pronounced in English, stick with me for this lesson. It looks like just one letter, but there are seven ways to pronounce this letter in English. We're going to have a good listen today at all the different ways we can pronounce this sound, all seven of them, okay? Starting with number one. Number one is the A as in cat or rack or exactly or even actually and had. This is that A ah sound, A. Ah. Say it with me, A, ah. A, ah. A. Ah. Okay, it looks like this, the IPA transcription looks like this, ah, ah. For a practice sentence with this, try this. Actually, that cat had exactly 10 apples. Actually, that cat had exactly 10 apples. Lots of ah, 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 ah. One more time, try it with me. Repeat this after me. Actually, that cat had exactly 10 apples. Actually, that cat had exactly 10 apples. Okay, rewind if you need to practice some more. We're going straight to number two. Okay, number two is the A as in rare, care, share, prepare. Rare, care, share, and prepare. This is that famous diphthong sound air, air. Diphthongs mean two sounds, two vowel sounds combined together, so you'll notice we start with that air eh, and we end with a schwa. Air, air, air. It can be important if you want to practice to move your head like this. Air, air. Just to practice, don't go around outside like air, 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 because you'll look crazy, okay? But the sound for this one is air, air. Listen to the word care care or prepare prepare to practice this one repeat this sentence prepare to share it's rare to care prepare to share it's rare to care repeat after me prepare to share prepare to share it's rare to care it's rare to care Okay, practice that one again, and let's go to number three. But the third sound, number three, is the A as in father, or rather, or car, or bar. This is that long vowel sound, ah, ah, mouth wide open, ah, ah. Just like when you go to the doctors and they ask to see your mouth, ah, ah. Okay, it actually sounds like the letter in the alphabet R. Okay, it's how we pronounce that letter in the alphabet. R, 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 R. In British English, it's not rhotic, which means we don't round it like this. We just say R, the long vowel R, R. So practice the words father, father, and rather, and car, and bar. You'll notice that before the letter R, if the A is before R, it's normally always R. Far, bar, car, pa, ta, okay? To practice this, repeat after me. Father, I'd rather not go to the bar in my car. Father, I'd rather not go to the bar in my car. Okay, your turn. Father, I'd rather not go to the bar in my car. Okay, rewind again if you need to practice that some more. We're going to have a look at number four. Okay, number four is the A as in call or hall or tall or even walk and saw 
and law. Now, you'll notice before a W, law and saw. Also, before two L's, hall and tall. This is when we, the A is pronounced like all, all. And look at the shape of my mouth, or. It's that or, really, really long vowel sound, very long in English. And the mouth has to sort of go crushed together and then down like this, or, or. Or, listen, hall, tall, wall, behind me there's a wall, wall, okay? To practice this sentence, try this. I walked through the hall and I saw the tall man calling the law. The law sometimes is a slang word for the police in parts of America and some parts of England. So if you're saying I'm calling the law, it can mean I'm calling the police. I walked through the hall and I saw the tall man calling the law. Repeat after me. I walked through the hall and I saw the tall man calling the law. Okay, well done. Let's have a look at number five. Okay, number five is the A as in pay, way, stay, cable, able, table, and fable, okay? That A sound. This one's easy because it is the sound that you look at, that you say when you see the letter A in the alphabet. The letter in the alphabet, when we look at it, we say A, A. And in the IPA, it looks like an E and a little I, okay? A, A. This way, this way, to the table, able, fable. Okay, you'll see again that when it's before B-L-E, able, fable, stable, table, it is always pronounced as an A, A, A. Except in some crazy words where it's at the end, like manageable, okay? Manageable, a little bit different, okay? Repeat after me. I'm not able to pay the cable bill. I'm not able to pay the cable bill. One more time, I'm not able to pay the cable bill. Okay, well done. Let's go straight to number six. Okay, number six is the A as in words like private and climate. And in some accents, words like legitimate as well. Legitimate, okay? This can often be changed for another sound, which we will look at as number seven, the schwa sound. But in many accents, especially in Britain or the UK, private will be pronounced with a short i, i. So you'll see the a here is i, private, private, and climate, climate, okay? Many other accents change these sounds to a schwa, so they'll say climate and private. Okay, private and climate. To have a go with this sound, practice this sentence. My views on the climate are legitimate, but private. My views on the climate are legitimate, but private. My views on the climate are legitimate, but private. Now, legitimate, you probably don't know what that means. Legitimate is when something is real or true, okay? If you have a legitimate view, it's a view that other people will know is real and truthful based on real knowledge that's out there, okay? Something that is legitimate is something that is not fake. It's not fake and it's not false. Legitimate, okay? Number seven is the A as in the schwa sound, okay? Number one most common sound in English, the schwa sound. If you want to practice it, make sure that you look for my schwa video up here. But this is the most common way that you'll see this letter A pronounced in English. Whenever a vowel is unstressed, whenever that A is not stressed, especially at the beginning of words like about, around, amazing, okay? It is a schwa sound, okay? Also in uh and um, two of the most common words in English, a uh, man, an amazing woman, okay? A man, an amazing woman, a uh, and um. They are very commonly confused. Many students of English pronounce them ah and an, which sounds horrible. It sounds crazy in English to pronounce them that way. Make sure that you're using the schwa sound, 
a uh, and un. Now, a common word with this schwa sound in, with the letter A pronounced as a schwa, is banana. Banana. So try this. An amazing banana. An amazing banana. An amazing banana. Un. A. Amazing. Ba. Na. Na. Lots of schwa sounds in there. Let's make it a little bit longer. An amazing banana for around a pound. An amazing banana for around a pound. A pound, that looks like this, it's what we use, it's money in England. An amazing banana for around a pound. It must be a very amazing banana to be just one pound, okay? An amazing banana for around a pound. Repeat after me. An amazing banana for around a pound. An amazing banana for around a pound. Lots of schwa sounds in there. I wonder if you can tell me how many schwa sounds are in that sentence, okay? Now we're going to look at a sentence which will help you practice all seven of these A sounds in one sentence, okay? This is a tough sentence. I've got to remember it, okay? So try this for an amazing sentence that will help you to master the A sound. An average father may share all he has. An average father may share all he has. An average father may share all he has. I want you to practice this sentence 100 times, as many times as you can, because it contains every single A sound. And it'll also help your brain understand and feel where the A sounds come in this sentence. What letters are around the A, okay? An average father may share all he has, okay? Look at all the different A sounds in that sentence. Un, you've got that uh. Average, you've got that a uh, and i in idge, average, okay? Father, you've got that ah. Uh. Then may, you've got a. A, the diphthong sound A, okay? Then you've got share, another diphthong, air, share, all, that long vowel sound, super long, all, and then he has that A ah sound again at the end, okay? Practice that sentence as many times as you need to. Okay, this is a bonus to this lesson, and in the bonus part of this lesson, I'm gonna teach you some secrets about the letter A. There are some special cases. For example, you've learned all of the seven ways to pronounce this A sound, but there is some hidden ways that are very, very rare. Not including those seven sounds, we can also very rarely pronounce the A as an E. E. In words like any and many and the river in London, the river Thames. Okay, this is very, very rare. You will not find this very much in English. It will take you a long time to find more than these three words, okay? But do remember that in many and any and Thames, the A is pronounced not as any of those seven sounds, but as an E, 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 many, any, and the river Thames. We also have strange words in English that people always fight over how to pronounce. Words like data, data, okay? You'll see this has two A's in it. Data. And many people pronounce it like that with an A and a T, a schwa sound at the end. But there are many other people who argue that is wrong and it should be pronounced data with a long R sound, data. So you will hear this across the English speaking world. About 50% of people will say data and about 50% of people will say data. Data, data. Remember both, data, data. It's really good to practice three of those A sounds, okay? You've got A as in data and you've got R as in Data. Both of them finish in that schwa sound. Data, data. Okay, now the letter A can also sometimes not be pronounced at all. It can be silent. 
It can be a silent A. In words like basically, that final A, we can't see it. It's gone. Basically. Basically. Also in words like separately. Separately. You can't really hear an A in there anywhere. Separately. Okay. Separately. In words like automatically automatically. Whenever you see that L-L-Y and sometimes L-Y at the end, if there's an A, we don't need it, okay? That is where we can see there is a silent A. We don't pronounce it, okay? Repeat after me. Typically. Typically. Automatically. Automatically. Basically. Basically. Basically, okay? Practice those silent sounds. There's not many. It's usually always before an L-Y or an L-L-Y, okay? But remember, the letter A can sometimes be silent in English too. Okay, let's move on. Finally, in the word what. What. Now, you didn't hear this in the seven sounds again, but it's a very common word. What is your name? That's because this is a very particular pronunciation. It's one of the only words in English where the letter A is pronounced as an O. O, as in on or top, okay? As like an O sound, the IPA O, O. What? So, the last thing I want you to practice today is to remember that the seven A sounds, perfect, remember them all, but the word what is an exception. It is an O. Here, the A sound is pronounced O, oh, O, oh, what, okay? What did you think of that lesson? I hope you really enjoyed it and found it useful. There is another lesson, the letter B is next. We're going to go all the way through to the letter Z, okay, the letter Z. So stick with me. If you want to watch the rest of these lessons, make sure that you hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, okay? Well done, and I'll see you for another lesson. Bye-bye.